We're back here in the desk, though, and I'm joined by Sean O'Neill, a uh, community manager for SolidWorks. Sean, welcome. Hey, Thanks what's for up, joining Jeremy? us. Yeah, Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. You've had a busy week, right? Yes, I'm, I'm zipping around. Everyone's zipping around. There's, uh, you know, there's so many opportunity when you have thousands of like-minded individuals in the uh, in the same place. So for sure. Yeah, so your role at SolidWorks is, is you're a community manager. Mm. Tell us a little bit about what you do in that role, because we have different community managers in the organization. You work with a really unique, unique group of people that we engage with, correct? Yes, so I would say, Jeremy, the best way to explain my role here at SolidWorks is it's all about shining lights, right? So in one respect, you know, with users who are doing, you know, really cool things, really impactful things that maybe haven't had, you know, the proper amount of light shined upon them, maybe in terms of publicity or reach, right? I see them maybe tweeting things on Twitter or posting things on Reddit or, you know, maybe I get an email, right, that says like, hey, you should see this, this, this user is doing this really awesome thing, um, check them out. I kind of help make those connections. And sometimes that's writing a user story about them on the SOLIDWORKS blog. Uh, sometimes that's about connecting them with a partner, you know, here uh, like we have in the 3D Experience Playground. So whatever seems to make sense uh, given the connections <laughs> I have, right? You connect the dots. Yeah, so that's, that's one part of shining the light. The other part is uh, working with, with YouTubers, YouTube influencers who kind of help sh shine the right light on, uh, on SOLIDWORKS products that we have here. Uh, which cool. uh, was, was definitely on display here at, uh, at 3D Experience World. So one of the places you've been spending a lot of time this week is mm. right outside the doors to the playground. It's actually across from where General Session takes place. Tell us about the Hive. We're actually gonna, we're gonna take a look at that a little bit yep. later, but why don't you tell us about your experiences you've had there this week? For sure, the Hive is, is a great place. We, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, with conferences, it's so important to network, right? Yeah. So the Hive is all about that. The Hive is a place where you can swing by, grab a coffee, meet new people, right? Again, we have thousands of designers, engineers, makers, artists, hobbyists, entrepreneurs, the list goes on. It makes sense to have a place that's dedicated to meet people and make connections that stem beyond the show. Yeah, I mean, this is a great place for if somebody's a first time attendee mm. coming to 3D Experience World, well, let's be honest, everybody, We're it's their first, first 3D yeah. Experience World. That's true. But we've had users who have been coming to SolidWorks World for over a decade. Yeah, for sure. And we might have somebody coming to an event like this and they're a little bit lost. Mm. We have a lot of viewers online mm -hmm. on SolidWorks Live who might be interested next year in coming for their very yeah. first time. The Hive is the perfect place for them to go and get connected with somebody who's a real veteran of coming to this event. You guys have a name for, uh, for those folks, right? Yeah, so they are our event ambassadors, right? So. You know, we've been doing World, you know, we can say that pretty generally sure. for a long time. It's the first ever 3D Experience World, so it's a, a bigger sort of scaled up event. Um, but yeah, we've had people who've been coming to World, I've, I've heard people in, in the high up teens, right? They yeah. say like, I've been here 16 years, 17 years. I, I, can, uh, I can't attest to that. I've been to World many times myself, but uh, yeah. Not 16 times, right? Be, not 16 <laughs> times, yeah. I would, have, uh, I would have needed a chaperone for some of those. <laughs> So you can find those folks if you decide to come here next year or if you're here watching mm. the stream. They have a big blue button, right, that says Event Ambassador on them? Yes, you cannot miss them. Uh, so we have, uh, I, my badge is over there, we have right. Nerd Out pins, uh, which you know, kind of helps you, you know, attest to who you are and what you do, what you're all about. Um, but the Event Ambassadors also have the, the, yeah, the, blue, the big blue pins. Yeah. Um, so you can check those out. You'll, you'll see them. Um, in fact, I see some out in the audience right now. Yeah, I mean, so if you're walking around, you're lost, or you're wondering what's the next cool thing that I should be doing, Yeah, that pin is a great thing to look for. Those, those people are here to help you mm. and kind of guide you through this amazing experience that we're having here. Exactly, we look around the playground, there's so many cool things, these, the CNC machines, the, the printers, the other you know, solution partners, all the sessions, right? We have Oh, there's just too much to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could ever come to 3D Experience World and get to see everything. Exactly. That's happening. Yep. So you work with a lot of our content creators. Yes. Do you have any uh, interesting that we might be able to get to see more about or hear more about over the next few days? Hmm. Maybe. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys, if you guys were checking out day two, uh, you actually saw a guy that I work with quite a bit. Uh, so, so Brad Thompson of Impact Props, you might have saw. We had him on know, here as well Master earlier. Chief. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So um, actually, if you go to, go to SolidWorks.com slash Brad, 
you'll see the video he published live on stage that shows a lot of 3D sculptor and 3D creator, full Iron Man concept uh, helmet uh, that was made on the platform. Very cool. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow at General Session, we're going mm. to be we're going to be having another content creator from YouTube on General Session as well, right? Yeah. So we work with YouTubers of, of all sizes and, and different audience types. You know, we, we we partner with content creators who have you know different types of audiences that could you know theoretically benefit from knowing about the stuff that we have here at SolidWorks. Uh, so one of uh, one of the individuals that you mentioned, day three, Eric Haddad. Uh, I partnered with him, or we partnered with him, uh, on making uh, RC airplanes. So yeah. some of that stuff, it's a mix of SolidWorks 3D CAD on the desktop side and 3D Sculptor for some of the wingtip stuff. Yep. Um, but I'll have, you'll have that live on stage. So you'll get to see the actual huge RC airplane. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely <laughs> check a, that out. If you want to get primed, we're actually going to have him here on SolidWorks Live tomorrow. Mm. He's going to come here after general session. If you want to get a primer of what Eric does, you can go to 3D Aero Ventures on YouTube, see all the great stuff he's doing. Yeah. Something really unique about him, and I don't want to steal anything from him. He do, he's really involved doing projects with his son, which I find to be really interesting. So. Yeah, so that was the first video that, that we sponsored. It was, it was him, you know, basically going through a foam glider and making it RC with his son. So yeah. it, the story, you'll hear all about this on day three, yeah. like you said. Make sure not, to tune in tomorrow. That's a little too much, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's, there's a long lineage of, of, of working on this stuff in the uh, Haddad family. Absolutely. Yeah. So any, uh, you know, we're wrapping up here towards the end of the day, mm -hmm. and there's a reason for that. We have exciting stuff going on this yeah. evening, and all of us get to participate. Are you going to the bash that they have tonight out on Broadway? I mean, I'm a community manager. I have to go to the bash <laughs> on Broadway, right? But I'm very much looking forward to it, right? Like, everyone is. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So let's have, it, we learn a ton, right? But at night, we have fun too. So we have the best of both worlds. For sure. And you know, for those watching at home, unfortunately, this is the one thing at 3D Experience World that you can't <laughs> participate with online. And I encourage you next year to come to 3D Experience World so that, you yeah. know, Every Tuesday night, we have a great event. It's a lot of socializing mm. with old friends and new friends, yep. like folks we would meet at the Hive. For sure. And it's a great networking opportunity as well. So, cool. Uh, sh yep. Sean, so I want to uh, I want to thank you so much for coming out here and Absolutely. closing this thank out you with guys. me. We've yeah. had uh, an amazing long day. We have one more day left ahead of us here. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have tons more content starting again, 8 a.m. Central Time on uh, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and live.solidworks.com. Mm. Uh, remember, if you want to join in the conversation for 3D Experience World, it's hashtag 3DXW20. And if you want to join in the conversation with us, the hashtag is SWLive.